senior year, I went ahead and I took um, AP Calc BC um, against other people's advice and I actually really liked it. I loved it. And then that, from then on, I realized I do like math. In this edition of our Number Sense video series, we'd like to introduce you to Jenny. Jenny is an instructor here at Mathnasium of Tallahassee, and we'd like to use her story to help us bust a few math myths. You see, often from parents and students, we will hear them say that they're not wired for math, or they don't have this math gene. Well, I'm here to tell you there is no such thing as being wired for math, and there is no math gene. After all, you don't hear people talking about having a reading gene. People who are successful in math have just found a way in which math learning makes sense to them. Sometimes you have to try a couple of different paths, sometimes you have to try a couple of different techniques, but the goal is to find a way in which learning math makes the most sense to you. This brings us all the way back to Jenny's story. You see, Jenny is a Tallahassee native, she has a physics degree from the University of Florida, and she's about to head off to MIT to pursue her doctorate in theoretical physics. Now hearing all of that, you might think Jenny must have always loved math, must have always done well in math. Well, you'd be wrong. You see, in middle school, Jenny did not like math, didn't do terribly well, didn't really try. It wasn't until later, in high school, against the advice of some others, that she took some advanced level math classes, found her way, found a way in which math made sense, and the rest, as they say, is about to be history. In all middle school, I just um, didn't consider myself good at math. In sixth grade, you got tested to go into maybe, go and go to algebra, and I remember my um, my siblings had went and hit and got gotten into that, and I didn't. And that, for me, I don't. It just made me feel a little bit labeled as I was not good at math. It's a like inferiority complex and in, in uh, all areas of school, but especially math and science. It was at a certain point when I um, became self motivated to do well to get into college that I was um, sort of doing my homework, etc. I got the permission from the instructor to just, to just um, go ahead and go into Cal BC, um, and I took AP Physics, and I I just loved it. I'm about to start a PhD um, at MIT, which um, is a huge, still like very surprising to me. I don't, I'm not quite used to that idea. And it's really hard to say at a young age what you're going to be, what you are good at and not good at. If you're in elementary school and you don't like your math class right now, that's not to say you won't like it later on. It's not to say you won't be really good at it. You, you really don't know. And so I would really encourage like all, all younger um, students to kind of not write themselves off quite yet. It sounds cliche, but um, I really think kind of your attitude towards yourself will have a big influence on how you actually, what you actually do um, and how well you end up doing. Um, it's just kind of like a self-fulfilling um, prophecy if you kind of have that attitude about yourself and your abilities, um, you're, it's going to be a lot harder to do as well. You can you can surprise yourself. People surprise themselves. I surprise.